All right guys, welcome from New Garden Flying Field uh, into my hangar. Tonight I'm standing in front of uh, November 2629er Julia. It's a Cessna 150G model. Um, currently going through the interior of this aircraft. Um, the seats have been redone, the headliner has been redone. Uh, Roberto Aircraft interiors up in Smoketown, Pennsylvania, Smoketown Airport. Uh, he did a wonderful job on the seats. Uh, they're 100% leather, new foam. The headliner's all ultra leather. It smells fabulous in the cockpit right now. So certainly love that improvement. Um, it also adds to the, uh, the overall look compared to the old ratty uh, vinyl seats that were in there um, and they're much more comfortable so pretty excited about that but it's on to the next uh, improvement uh, behind me I have a few boxes uh, that were sent by Rosin uh, uh, Sunvisor Systems and it's a uh, Cessna system uh, which we're going to be installing I'm going to show you the uh, the overview of as far as what's included in the kit uh, we're also going to take a look at the installation process, what's required to install these into your aircraft, and then the documentation. Uh, these are STC uh, approved uh, visors for this make and model aircraft. Uh, Rosin makes visors for most any make and model of aircraft, so depending on what you currently own and fly, I'm sure they have a Rosin kit available for you. If you're looking for an improvement uh, into your aircraft, if you're tired of flying and forgetting your sunglasses and staring down the runway on a late uh, afternoon during the spring and summer uh, into the sun and uh, making it hard to see as you're squinting trying to uh, land the aircraft, you might want to consider these. Uh, but come on out to the airport, November 5-7. I'd be happy to show you in the Cessna. Uh, we can sit in the aircraft, we can go for an aircraft ride and see if it's something that you might consider uh, for your own aircraft. Uh, but right now, we're going to open up the box and see what's included. Uh, Rosin Visors is located in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, these visors uh, block 99.9% .9 of UV A and B rays. So uh, it, it does a lot for your eyes and it does a lot for the vision on those sunny days, looking down that runway or, or flying from point A to point B. Um, and it's, uh, uh, it's, it's really a nice system to have. The, uh, the other nice thing is it's a cast non-polarizing lens with a medium tint, uh, it's kind of like a light gray. Um, so it's really like you're looking through a pair of sunglasses, but they're permanently mounted in the aircraft, uh, so you won't ever forget them uh, when you leave home. But let's check it out and see what's in the box. packaging was terrific. Uh, the visors were well protected uh, for transport. So uh, kudos to Rosin for a, a great pack job. Um, now, this is a Cessna kit. There's actually two parts to this kit and there's two STCs. The first STC is actually for the Cessna, for the Cessna system uh, for the Cessna 150G model. Um, it is STC approved for installation in this aircraft. Uh, there is actually another STC that I got. That is a third axis kit, which will allow the visor to move on a third axis. So this is the standard uh, visor. Um, the standard uh, Cessna kit allows just for tilt. So you're using it, you've uh, moved the visor down, or when you're finished and not using it, moves it in the up position. But you're limited to just that movement. Okay, a third axis kit will actually give you a little bit more freedom as far as placement of your visor because instead of just up and down, it'll allow the, uh, the user, the pilot, to move up and down, but also in this, I guess it would be, yes, it would be in this direction. All right, in order to do that, what uh, Rosin has done is that they included in the, uh, the modification kit, the third axis mod kit, 
a new lens uh, because it allows for a cutout to be able to travel in that downward direction as well as a new swivel point. So the first part of this installation is to uh, put the new swivel point on which is anodized aluminum and uh, install that onto the bracket before we go into the aircraft. So tonight uh, we're going to get that on and uh, get ready for the next step. start any of this uh, but you'll see that there's a couple ways to install uh, the visors into your aircraft depending on what your aircraft has uh, some aircraft uh, this uh, this year were shipped with uh, sun visors from the factory others were not if they were not then you're gonna have to uh, drill some holes and insert some nut plates now rosin does include all that hardware in the kit as well as uh, uh, the uh, the Allen uh, wrenches for the hardware. The only thing that your installer will have to have is a, ri a proper rivnet tool. However, fortunately for me, this 150 had factory uh, sun visors at some point uh, because it does have nut plates um, on the front spar where this mount will actually just screw right into those uh, existing factory mounts. So it's fairly simple, not a whole lot of work, but again, because of the STC, it will have to have a logbook endorsement and a 337 filled out. So let's hop in the aircraft now and uh, go put this in. Probably one of the hardest part about this install is just getting into the aircraft. Uh, being a 150, it's kind of tight. Um, but getting the aircraft in a position so you can see what you're doing. Make sure you take the appropriate uh, precautions uh, to protect uh, your interior because you're going to be climbing in here a little uh, backwards and uh, you want to make sure you're not sitting on a headset or anything that you have inside the cockpit so i've got a couple holes up here first thing i wanted to make sure was the areas in front of the holes are clear and then it's just a matter of getting the bolts that were provided in the kit started. Now rosin does include Allen uh, wrenches in the kit, but I'm in the hangar and I've got some rail tools, so. There we go. Now it's tightening up. I don't want to overdo it. <clears throat> Okay, and you can see tilt, uh, you can see the third axis tilt is this, and you can move forward or back. This adjustment here extends it, so you loosen it, and that'll allow it to slide, so you can get the visor positioned exactly the way you want it. to block sun either in the front of you or in the side. What a really, really good improvement, especially over the factory visors. All right, there's one down, one to go. All right, that is pretty much a wrap uh, for this installation. It wasn't bad at all, except for that nut plate. 
uh, that was giving me a little bit of trouble, but no problem. I just ran a, a, a tap through it, cleaned up the threads, and it went right in. Again, there's two different ways to install these, so make sure you read the installation manual and uh, see if you have the existing holes already uh, with the captive uh, nuts. Uh, then it's fairly easy. If not, you're going to have to drill a hole, insert a riv nut to install the visors. The only thing left for me to do is to do a little bit of paperwork. Then I'll be legal to go fly and then we'll uh, see what they look like in the air. I'm going to take my daughter up. She's 16. She's going for a private pilot uh, license and uh, I'm training her uh, in this aircraft as well. Uh, so we'll get her take on the, uh, the rosin visors. But if you have a Cessna airplane that you already have existing visors and it's a two axis system, if your visors are cracked, scratched, um, or just uh, more or less worn out, I have two brand new pair that obviously I'm not gonna use. I have the third mod or the third axis mod. So if uh, you need some uh, uh, new plastics in your Cessna and you have the two axis uh, system, Put a comment down below, put your name, and I'll reach out to you uh, privately and uh, get your address and send you these uh, for free. Um, just uh, give us a thumbs up and if, uh, if you want to, comment and we'll get, you, get these out to you. Um, if you are interested in checking these out firsthand, uh, come on out to New Garden Flying Field, November 5-7. I'll put you in the aircraft. You can try it on for size and see what you like. See if it's an upgrade that you want to implement into your aircraft. I pretty much guarantee you're going to like it and be interested in it. And if you do, we'd be happy to install them for you uh, right here at New Garden Flying Field. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk soon, and uh, we'll see you in the air. Take care.